lovely to be back. That was so nice. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Shouldn't you be off somewhere plotting to kill Cersei Lannister right now? What? I should be. And I was supposed to be here for a week, but they were like, you have to come back now. Oh, so. to shoot the show? Yeah, I have to go home at two days, a day early. So. How much shooting do you have left? Uh, a lot, endless amounts. A lot, okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's a mammoth task this year. It's, um... It's huge. Okay, so then we know, based on that, that you're in a lot of the episodes. No, not necessarily, because some of the episodes take a really long time to shoot. I see. Oh, yeah. How many episodes will there be this season? Six? Um, I don't know if they... I don't know if they've said. I know how many there are. Oh, you do? But I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you guys how many there are. Interesting. You live your life in fear of revealing something. Absolutely. Huh? Have Absolutely. you read all the scripts? Do you know everything that's going on? I do. I know the end of Game of Thrones. You know the end? <laughs> Now, the president of HBO said there were going to be multiple fake endings shot and multiple fake scripts. How do you know you know the ending of the show? Well, I heard this, and I immediately thought, I, I don't think we've got the budget to shoot lots of different endings. <laughs> well, he's the president, so he would know if you have the money or not. But as we know, sometimes presidents don't always tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> so you do know the ending. Well, that is very interesting. Yeah. And were you happy? Like, tell me about, like, when you read the ending, where were you? Honestly, um, where was I? Yeah, where were you? I was just in my bed, I think, just, like, reading. Um, yeah, it's just surreal, to be honest. Like, being with this show for so long, and then it also having the following that it does. Um, it's just everyone's waiting for this moment, and yeah. then you read it, and it's just, like, it's incredible. So you're in bed. Does that mean you had to lay down? The ending was so shocking? I was like this, and then I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I stayed there for a little while. I see. Oh, wow. How about that? I would love to... <laughs> you know, I really want to know what the ending is, but I also don't want to know what the ending well, is. Well, like, if I told you, you'd be like, oh. Like, but if you watch it, you're like, I see. Oh, that's good. That's a good clue. Have you told anybody what the ending is? Have you... No, no. I haven't. No. Does anyone in your life know? Well, like only people on the show. I see. Okay. Yeah, actually, I sent my mom's my mom the scripts. You did? Yeah. I oh. was like, I've got the Game of Thrones script. She was like, oh. I was like, do you want them? She's like, yeah. I was like, can I have them? Oh yeah. <laughs> so you didn't give them to her. I did it. You did give them to her. Yeah, Are you allowed to give your mom? Probably not. Actually, they my said, Don't mom give them is the to last anyone. person I would give one of those scripts to. <laughs> Literally, the last person in yeah, the world. Yeah, my mom's like tweeting out like, I know the end of Game of Thrones. My parents <laughs> read. The, my dad read the Game of Thrones books two times, and they cannot ruin enough stuff to make them happy. I mean, in fact, it, they're angry that they departed from the books because now they can't tell me the week before, they can't. oh, you know what's going to happen uh, with Jamie Lannister, you know. You like him? You like him? He's dead. Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> wow, that's something else. So yeah. Now, well, let's talk about this uh, movie you're in, Early Man. This Indeed. is made by the, the maker of Wallace and Gromit, Indeed. which is a great... It's the, those movies, I love those movies. Absolutely. For me, um, it was just a privilege to be asked. Uh, sure. And I, I'm from Bristol, which is where the Ardman Studios are based. Um, and people always find it crazy that these, like, Oscar-nominated movies that like, come from this tiny little studio in the middle of Bristol. So I've always been so proud of Ardman, And then to be asked to be in it, and then also play Guna, who's, like, the best character ever, um, it was just like, yeah, amazing. What, the is, best. Who, what does Guna do? I mean, great so, name, but otherwise, other than that. <laughs> so uh, she basically helps um, the caveman, uh, the Stone Age caveman, uh, defeat their enemy and uh, move into the Bronze Age. I see. And can yeah. you reveal the ending of this movie? <laughs> no? Does your no. mother know who I mean, <laughs> this movie is? <laughs> the thing about this is it could go one of two ways, whereas Game of Thrones is a whole... <laughs> a whole list of ways. Yeah, to you're going to have to be nervous, really, for a long time leading up to this. But you were mentioning that this movie, which is... It's claymation, you know, they say Absolutely. it's stop motion is made in this little studio. Like, is it just, like, a little building that they're shooting this in? Well, I mean, it's huge. It's not just little, but, like, I see. you know, that made it sound like it was, like, a shed somewhere. Yeah, it sounded like it was, like, a workbench <laughs> like and a guy, guy had some Play-Doh or no, something. No, there's a whole operation that I goes see. into it. Like, it's huge. And, um, really, like, we come in and we record our voice bits, and, and Guna doesn't actually have a lot to say, and although she's a prominent character, like, my, the job that I did in comparison to the job that these people have been doing for, like, the last three years is so minuscule, and they're really like the star of the movie. How do you decide 
like what approach you're going to take with the as far as what the accent of the character is. Well, they said we want her to be like from Norway, so I was like brushing up on my Norwegian accent. What does a Norwegian <laughs> accent sound like? Well, this is the funny bit. So then I get there and they have like a scratch track sometimes of like someone else doing some of the lines so as they can start animating and see what it's going to look like. Right. And the lady who had done the wonderful scratch track was doing like a German accent. But then when you're doing a film that's set before Norway and Germany, you can really you can get along away whatever with you whatever you want to yeah, get away with. Yeah, exactly. And do you think the German <laughs> woman who did the original track that you replaced hates you? <laughs> I think she did a better job than me, so I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to see you. We're very excited about uh, both of these things, actually. The movie's called Early Man. It is in theaters now. Maisie Williams, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.